So in this problem, we're told to use a graph to give a rough estimate of the area of the region that lies beneath the given curve. Then find the exact area. So we're given this function here, y equals 6 times the sine of x. And we're given this domain here. So let's just find the exact area. So how do we go about doing that? So what we want to do is write this in as an integral because the area or the integral basically just finds the area under the curve. So if we just write our integral sign like this, and we want to write our lower bound and upper bound. So our lower bound is going to be 0. So we write that on the bottom. And then on the top right here, we're going to write our upper bound, which is pi. And then we're just going to write our function here on the inside. So 6 times the sine of x. Then we write dx after it. And so now we got it like this, we can find the exact area. So how do we go about doing that? So the first thing that we want to do is find the antiderivative of our function on the inside. So we got to find the antiderivative of 6 times the sine of x. So the antiderivative of sine of x is going to be equal to the minus cosine of x. And so we're multiplying it by 6, so it's going to be minus 6 times the cosine of x. So this is the antiderivative of 6 times the sine of x. And draw a line like this, put your upper bound on top, lower bound on the bottom. And then we're going to plug in our upper bound, get a value. Then we're going to subtract whatever the value plugging in our lower bound is. So let's go ahead and do that. If we plug in the upper bound, we're going to have minus 6 times the cosine of pi. The cosine of pi is going to be minus 1. So it's going to become minus 6 times minus 1, which equals 6. So we're going to take our 6 and write it right here. That's the value when we plug in pi. And then we're going to minus whatever 0 plugged into this is. So minus 6 times the cosine of 0. The cosine of 0 is going to be equal to 1. Uh, and you should know that based on the unit circle. And then we're multiplying it by minus 6. So minus 6 times 1 is equal to minus 6. So we have 6 minus negative 6. And so when you go ahead and do that, um, this is basically adding. So it's just going to be 6 plus 6. And then that's going to be 12. So the answer to this problem is going to be 12.